Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So now let's take a look at how to cook our troops in our barracks and to bring how many troops for this BAM strategy. So let's take a look at our dark barrack first. So as you can see, uh, it's all queued up with minions. And then uh, three of the barracks I'll be cooking archers and then one of them will be barbarians. So as mentioned, I, did, I do use um, wall breakers in my army, uh, but sometimes I do forget to cook them. So you, how do we cook uh, the wall breaker? Some of you may be asking. So what do I do is uh, whenever I need to cook wall breakers, I'll just cancel out one barrack worth of archers and then cook four wall breakers and then just continue up filling up with the archers again. So this is basically how I do it. Just let it uh, cook them all. I know some of you guys will be saying, uh, why don't you just cancel each of uh, the barracks then after they put one wall breaker in each of them, then after they uh, recook them with the same uh, troops again, which is uh, three of them will be archers, one of them will be uh, bar barbarians. But uh, I feel that that's going to waste a bit of your time and uh, you don't want to stress yourself too much to spend too much time uh, cooking and uh, adjusting your troops. And also another thing is, uh, as you can see, what kind of troops I bring for me. Um, I bring like 40 to around 50 barbarians, uh, roughly around 90 to 110 archers and also roughly 30 to 40 over minions. You don't have to be too specific as to how many uh like barbarians you have to bring like maybe specifically forty five or forty or whatsoever. Don't have to be really really too specific because um it will really take out of your time to go and adjust the troops and when you donate troops to your clan mates the troops will be replenished by other troops, so it'll be really stressful and also time consuming to go ahead to go and keep adjusting your troops. So now we will talk about loot penalty where in my previous tutorial I did mention about trophies and leaks. And I did recommend to you guys to go higher in trophies so as to find higher loots and also um, find higher Town Hall levels to attack. So this is how loot penalty works. Example, if you are Town Hall 8 and you found a Town Hall 7, you are basically one Town Hall level above that person and you are given a loot penalty of 10%. So allowing you to only get 90% of the loot available uh, against that Town Hall 7. And if you are against a Town Hall 6, Two town hall levels difference, you will be given 50% uh, loot penalty. So it all applies to all town hall levels. So example, if now taking my account uh, into consideration that I'm town hall 10 and I found a town hall 10, of course, I will be awarded 100% um, loot because it's fighting the same town hall level. But if I were to find a town hall 9, for example, I get 90% of the loot only, a 10% penalty. But if I find a town hall 8, I get a 50% uh, loot. A penalty. If I, if I find a Town Hall 7, I get a 75% loot penalty, letting me get only 25% of the actual loot. And if I were to attack, say, a Town Hall 6, which is 4 Town Hall levels different away from me, I'll be subjected to 95% loot penalty, getting me only 5% of the loot. So that's something for you guys to take note of, especially for those uh, who are at Town Hall 9s and 10s. Because if you are very very low in trophies and leaks, example if you are at silver or even at bronze or people who are farming at low gold leaks, it's rather hard to find loot in my opinion, especially for a Town Hall 10. That's why I recommend farming at like a Crystal 1 or even Master 3 for a Town Hall 10 so that you will be able to find such loots that I'm uh, showing you guys now, especially for a uh, date basis. So the next thing that I would like to talk about are difficult bases of how to attack. So for those replays that I'm showing you guys, they are quite a tough base to attack. And also I do have my king and queen with me for this uh, moment. And also I do have the spells uh, that I brought along. So I'll also be showing you guys how to use the spells properly. So at this point of time, uh, using my rage spell, free spell, and also uh, later I'll be showing how to use lightning spell to... Um, get uh, more percentages. So at this point of time, I'm just using the queen to get the de storage. So just ending the battle. So the next one is the more interesting one as to how to save yourself from losing a raid. So uh, just continuing uh, attacking as per normal. Then after that, uh, deploying my troops as per normal. If you notice that my uh, BAM, the army, the numbers ain't really uh, the same for all the raids. As I mentioned uh, at the start that uh, you don't have to really bother about the numbers. Uh, just as long as they work fine enough to do the raid enough. And now my king and queen has gone down. And then uh, they're uh, having a hard time trying to even uh, get more percentages as uh, the X-Bow and a lot of the defenses are taking them down really, really quickly. 
So we will carry on to see how it will go as to save myself from losing this attack. So as of now, the percentage is rather close. And now the queen has gone down. And uh, looking at how to get this uh, last percentage. Do you, the thing to take note when you want to lightning something, I will recommend uh, lightning a builder heart or even a hero altar as the HP of the two structures are at 250 hit points. So just one lightning itself will be able to destroy them. If you were to drop the lightning say on other structures, there's a risk that they might not go down. Although like a uh, barrack is low enough in HP to be one uh, hit KO by a lightning, but if you were to drop it wrongly, there's a chance that it might not even go down. So this uh, particular base, as you can see, is quite a difficult base to uh, ban because a lot of the defenses are very, very uh, exposed and also taking out my troops really quickly. And there are not many uh, structures on the outside for me to clear to get a 50%. So I have to use uh, both my heroes at this point of time. Now my king has gone in and my queen is taking out uh, a lot of the buildings on the bottom right, doing more percentages. So just carrying on and uh, hoping uh, that I can get close to 49%, but unfortunately I couldn't. So looking at where to drop my one lightning spell, the other four, three spells are practically useless. So dropping that lightning spell over there, taking out two structures and getting us that 50% one star. So before we end this video, I hope you guys have learned something out of it. If you haven't watched my last four tutorials, do take a look at it as it will definitely help you guys to improve your rates and also your farming. And also in my next video, I'll be talking about searching for bases as to how to increase your searching speed and also what to look out when you are searching for bases. In addition to farming timings where I'll be talking about what would be the best time to farm at and also the worst time to farm at. So do stay tuned for it and don't forget to leave a like and also stay in the comment section below as to how these tutorials have been helping you in your farmings. And with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.